Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, we are gonna make an in the hoop stroller tag that you can use at your favorite theme park. Um, it's a blank one, so you can customize it. I am doing one for our Disney vacation, but you can customize it for whatever theme park you're going to. So I'm gonna go through what we're gonna use today and then we'll go ahead and get stitching. Okay, so the design I'm using today, um, I believe the name is So Sweetly Stitch on Etsy. Um, she has some amazing in the hoop projects, so I'll link a picture here. It's the example of the one we're doing today. Um, hers had a princess carriage on it. I'm gonna do a more boy and girl friendly one with some Mickey balloons. So what we're gonna need today, um, we have our fabric. This is like a red pin dot. I love this, this is from Joann's. Um, I get all my ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And then I have some craft foam. This is the Silly Winks foam sheet, 99 cents. And Hobby Lobby, it's a 12 by 18 sheet of foam. And this is gonna give us some stability. It's in the craft section, kinda like near the kids markers and the Bible school projects. Then we're gonna be using the Melco EMT 16X embroidery machine but you could do this on any machine that could do five by seven and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my mighty hoop today this is the eight by nine mighty hoop so we've got our design loaded on our software okay so we have that we are going to use some tearaway stabilizer now you do not need this huge of a roll um, I got this for my XL hoop this is the all stitch number 20 tearaway stabilizer because um, I am going to use a pretty big piece. So I wanted to tear away. You want a tear away piece. Okay, so I'm going to do a Mickey balloon version. So I will list the design for the little balloons as well as the fonts I'm using in the description box below. So let's go ahead. I have the design loaded onto the machine. Let's go ahead and get the stroller tag started. So what I'm doing here is I'm just assigning thread colors, putting in my applique stops, and now it's ready to stitch. And now I'm going to prep my Mighty Hoop, getting my tearaway stabilizer. You want to make it bigger than the hoop. Um, and I'm just making sure it's nice and tight. And there you go. Now I'm going to do the placement stitch, where it's going to show me where to place my fabric in the foam. So I'm just going to do a quick placement stitch. All right, now that that's done, the placement stitch, you can see it barely in white around. Um, sorry, I should have done it a different color. I am gonna go ahead and get my fabric cut. And I was trying to not unravel all my fabric and keep it nice and neat. Um, so that's why I'm struggling a little, little bit. So I'm gonna cut a piece bigger than the placement stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead, because it has those um, pin dots, I wanna make sure it's nice and straight. You don't want it to be all wonky and I'm gonna use some 505 spray and just tack it down temporarily um, so it can get a nice clean stitch. Then I'm gonna take my craft foam, I'm gonna turn it over so it goes on the underside. Um, and I'm just gonna make a piece, make sure it's big enough. Um, so I'm just cutting my craft foam in half and so I can place it over. I'm gonna use some 505 spray, um, make sure it's in the correct spot and um, just make sure it's nice and secure. So there you go. So I'm gonna make sure all the fabric is where it's supposed to be, make sure the foam doesn't get caught on the, the hook part, hooky part, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a tack down stitch. Now watch your fingers, my fingers aren't anywhere near the needles, and now that the tack down stitch is done, I'm just gonna cut my applique fabric because I put that applique stop in to my Melco software, so now I'm just cutting around the edges um, before it does that final good old satin stitch. So there, there you see a beautiful cut area. And now we're just gonna go back in and do the final satin stitch for the border. Now that it's done with the satin stitch, it's gonna stitch some buttonhole stitches, which is really cool. Okay, now that that's finished, it's gonna do the placement stitch for the Mickey balloons, and I'm just gonna be using some vinyl. You can use fabric. Uh, I just decided to switch it up, and I'm gonna put my first color of the balloon on the machine, and go ahead and stitch that out. Looking good, and I'm gonna go ahead and 
go ahead and trim around the first balloon and I'm gonna go on to my second. I'm just using a little bit of 505 spray to help it stay in place while it's stitching. Um, and we're gonna go through each balloon. And I did remove a bow from this design so it's easy to do in your software. Um, it had a little bow at the end of the strings. So I'm just gonna let it stitch out. Okay, now that the balloons are finished, it's gonna go ahead and start writing the text. I wrote, um, this was doing the family. This is Elias font. I feel like it's from Applique Corno, but I'll link the exact one below. It's the Disney font. And um, I wrote the word family, and then I'm gonna do our family name. This is a market font. I think I did the two inch version. I might have shrunk it just a smidge um, to make sure it could fit on here. Um, but I love this font. It's so beautiful um, and thick. And so there it is. It's a beautiful stitch out. All right, so it's finished. I'm just gonna take it off the machine. You can see it's kind of tearing away from the tear away. So you wanna be super careful um, when you're doing all the applique steps to make sure you don't mess it up. And so it just tore right out. And the craft foam is just gonna tear right away. You don't have to pull hard. You just gently tug around and it'll fall right out. And so I'm just trimming it around and the craft foam works perfect. It makes it nice and thick. And I'm just gonna go through and trim some of the thread from the back. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm just trimming up some of the front threads and I'm taking away the little plasticky parts of the vinyl. Next, I'm taking the seam ripper and I'm going to gently open that buttonhole. It's super easy to do, but you have to have a gentle hand. You don't want to just slide your seam ripper um, through everything. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side, gently opening that buttonhole with my seam ripper. And there we have it. Now I'm going to add some ribbon, I'm going to add a little decorative bow and ties to attach it to the stroller, so I'm just cutting those pieces. Um, the way to attach it to the stroller, I made those longer, and I'm just trying to figure out how I wanted the bow, and I wasn't quite getting the look I was going for, so then I figured out um, to use the same technique I would as like making a boutique care bow, I'm using the red ribbon that attaches to the stroller is like my middle piece. And then I just worked it through and I love the look of it. It looks like a little bow um, on the stroller. So I'm gonna add an additional little loop to make sure it's super secure. And I'm just gonna do the same technique on the other side. Just make a boutique style little yellow hair bow um, with the red long strips that attach to the stroller and using those red long strips as my centerpiece. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and secure so that bow's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna go through and finish those edges of my little bow um, with like a cutting a triangle off the ends. I guess it'd be like a forked little piece. Um, but there you have it. There is a cute little way to finish off the stroller tag um, really bring some color to it so you can really see that stroller tag from a while away and it just finishes it off so nicely look how cute this is I mean come on how adorable is that in the hoop stroller tag so what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal the edges of the ribbon now the key is you don't want to get right on top of the ribbon you want to just get close enough and you'll see it start to kind of melt a little bit um, you just want to kind of singe a little bit the edges to make sure it doesn't fray. You can see I kind of caught this one on fire. Don't do that. You just want to get close enough to so just kind of singe it and seal it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around those edges and just clean up and just kind of singe it and secure it um, so it looks nice and clean. Again, you don't want to burn your shoulder tag. You just want to gently get close enough to seal those edges. 
So there you have the final product. I think it turned out so adorable. There are so many possibilities you can do with different designs, different fonts, different colors of ribbon. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So I will link everything I used today in the description box below. And if you liked today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.